Okay, so hello and welcome to a new Sumo community meeting. Uh, today is Monday the 15th of July. Yesterday it was the 14th of July. There's nobody from France here. Termina is in France. Yesterday was the uh, France National Day, basically, no? Um, so, vive la France. Otherwise, Hello. we're... <laughs> vive la France, vive If you like France. Um, otherwise, let's just um, start our usual community meeting. I have pasted the etherpad into Sumo. Uh, you can check it there. So let's start. Uh, previous action items, we have none. So it was a, an easy week for us. So we can just go straight to Sumo Dev Update. All Let's right. This one. Let me give you an update on that. Um, I already hinted at this last week. Uh, so this week we are starting with the third quarter. And uh, what we are doing differently this time is that we are taking the first uh, sprint off to research our roadmap items. So if you own any of these um, items or if you are really, um, involved with them, you will get a lot of questions from developers making sure that we know everything or that development knows everything that they need to know in order to implement these things. So that's what's happening uh, mainly in this sprint. Uh, we have uh, four roadmap items that we are working for right now. One uh, is the persona integration, then uh, dashboards local. Um, then we have the open badges initiative and uh, localization of our search features. Those are currently planned uh, for the third quarter, and that's what the uh, development team is currently researching. Um, besides that, we have a number of smaller 25% items. I'm not gonna go through the whole list. Just gonna point out that the one thing that I'm looking forward to is again, displaying the results of the customer day, which is happening in this sprint. That's very exciting. All yeah, right. uh, so that's what we have for the current sprint. And then uh, hint uh, again for the next sprint is the implementation. And we will be, uh, it will be a little bit different this time. Um, so each project is owned by one developer uh, and that de developer will start working on it right away. So we will start implementing all four of our roadmap items at once, or at least we will get started with all of them at the same time. So that's what's going to happen next sprint. Okay. And that's all I have for development. Any questions? Excellent. Thank you. That's a lot of work <laughs> right there. <laughs> a lot of things going on. So any questions for Kadir and the crazy roadmap? <laughs> People are smiling, but no questions. Well, okay. So uh, I, maybe does everyone know about the customer satisfaction survey already? Yeah. Okay. I will read about it. it. it if not, yeah. So this we have been doing this actually for quite a while since March, uh, but we've tried. We, we we had to get the data right first. There was a little bit of a struggle, and now we have consistent and reliable data. Uh, so now we can actually display this on the KPI dashboard. Uh, for anyone oh, who is interested. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so there are more questions on that uh, mm -hmm. questionnaire, actually. But we are interested in one question that will be displayed on the uh, KPI dashboard. Um, and if I remember correctly, that is the one about whether people, yes, uh, whether people found what they were looking for. So we will know on the KPI dashboard, we will display the percentage of people who found what they were looking for on Sumo when we ask them in the exit survey. Do you, uh, okay. yes, Michael? Yeah, do you know, so what are we going to, what is there, is that a surprise? How? Where, how are we doing? I haven't seen the data at all. Are we going to go? Is it going to be a good surprise, a bad surprise? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, so uh, let me uh, tell you a very large uh, confidence interval here of over 10%. So that said, it's currently at about 50%. 50% of the people are telling us that they found what they were looking for. 
which might be, so with a 10% confidence interval, it could be that it's actually 60%, it could be that it's actually 40%. We're trying to uh, drive down that confidence interval too, so that we have a better picture, but that's where it is currently. On average, about 50%. <laughs> so neither good nor bad, Okay. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Okay, uh, thanks for clarifying, Kadir. Um, the next one is UX update. Will you take this one as well, Kadir? Yeah, but there is nothing this week to report about. Uh, nothing that amazing might be next on. week. Okay. Yeah, there, there is stuff, but um, nothing to report on this week. Okay, we are only uh, listening to the amazing stuff, so... Uh, <laughs> That's the threshold, it has to be. <laughs> yeah. If it's not amazing, we don't care. So yeah, we're looking forward for more stuff <laughs> next week. Just joking. Just joking. Um, okay. Next item is roundtable, but there aren't actually any items for the roundtable. So I'll just move quickly to Firefox desktop. And is it Tyler who wants to text this one or I got Matt? This one today. Okay. Um, so just a couple of things for desktop. So we're still looking for uh, mixed content blocking feedback. So we've already identified a few sites that are having some uh, compatibility issues. Um, if you see anything else, please let us know. So we're reaching out to these sites individually and trying to work with them to make sure that everything is um, in line for when we push uh, 23 here in a couple of weeks. Um, so if you see anything, let uh, myself know or Tyler or anyone here on the, uh, the Sumo team would be great. Um, the other thing for desktop is this week we're doing the add-ons work week here in Portland. Uh, so <laughs> the, the amazing AMO team will be here and we're going to be talking about a bunch of cool stuff coming up um, in the next year. So you guys are probably familiar with some of the projects that we've been working on like uh, Project Squeaky, which is our uh, initiative to clean up the add-ons environment. Um, so we're going to get a lot of stuff this week, get, get a lot of stuff done this week. Um, it should be a really, really cool thing. Um, we'll have updates from that uh, hopefully next week. We'll be able to give a recap of some of the things that we talked about. Uh, but just so that you're aware, where Tyler and I will probably be most of the week, we're going to be in uh, the sessions there off and on. So um, if you don't see us, uh, feel free to shoot us an email or something like that if you need an answer. Um, if it's urgent, you can reach out to Chang. Okay, great stuff. Uh, thanks, Matt. So if anybody needs Matt or Tyler this this week, please reach, reach out to Cheng, um, pretty much. So, anybody has any questions for Matt or anything about Firefox Desktop? All right, uh, then let's move on to Firefox for Android. Oh, it's a no, help question day support. this week, right? Yes. So please continue to answer questions. Um, thank you to the awesome people up there including some of you on this call, or most of you on this call who answer Android questions. Um, if you're quick and want to help, please help us document the search engine default, which I don't think anyone's documented. It's an easy one. I can work with you to quickly do this. Um, that's it. All right. That was quick. Um, question for Purpose Android and Roland with his whole material. No. All right, Firefox OS, this is the main thing we want to talk about. So, Michelle, what happened this week with Firefox OS? Oh, is Hermina here? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, here she is. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> so, so, tell us. But we so, should say, uh, before we go to Firefox OS, we should say, happy birthday, happy late birthday to Roland. Uh, he had a birthday on Friday. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> and you didn't say anything. He didn't say a peep, nothing. So. Oh. And he worked. He worked on Thursday on his birthday, but he was off Friday. So anyway. That's right. Okay, okay. sorry, Hermina. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so another good news is that we've launched in Poland last week, end of last week. Yay! <laughs> so we we just want to recognize all the efforts of uh, the Polish community and of uh, everybody working on um, as an analytic articles on uh, on the sumo articles and on uh, on Gaia UI. So thanks a lot, guys, for for your amazing uh, job. 
Um, other than this, uh, we just wanted to let you know that uh, we finished all the uh, 50 articles and so we are 100% done with those and we are working on 20 more, which is again great, uh, great news. Uh, and just one, one thing to highlight, taking into account that now we have another manufacturer in the game, uh, we should pay attention when trying to answer to, to other questions coming, uh, uh, pay attention to the, to the phone model that they are asking about. So just, uh, just this thing uh, to highlight for our future. Uh, that's, that's kind of all from me. Michelle, if you have anything else to add? Nope. I think that's it. Cool. Thank you. Great news. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So no questions for Hermina or Firefox OS or about the launch in Poland or anything else. Take one, take two. Okay. So then let's move to the broken record of Thunderbird. This is how it is written here. Oh, yes. Yes. We continue the march to Thunderbird 24. Please continue to test Thunderbird 24, which is now on Aurora. And um, if you can't understand those crazy, awesome directions on that web page, you can ask me or ask anyone at Thunderbird team to help you test. Back up your email, and thank you. Great. All right. Uh, questions for Thunderbird? No? All right. Then let's move on to metrics. Could you? All right. Actually, I have one thing there because most of uh, our uh, metrics are flat, which again, I don't know if it is good or bad, but it is what it is. Um, the only thing that is not, uh, or what, one thing that is significant for me at least, is the LTN coverage. It dropped significantly over the last week, so I'm assuming that's uh, uh, Scooby on an editing spree, Michael. You well, know more? Yeah. Well, there's. I was gonna say it later, but. Um... Um, so there's a couple of things. So Firefox 23, even though it doesn't have big features, there was lots of tiny changes that affected multiple articles, each little change. So if you remember, um, if you noticed a, a couple of weeks ago, Alex Leamy had a blog post about checkboxes. Well, we got rid of some checkboxes, but that yeah. means like all the articles about, you know, options windows had to get changed. And then all the articles that talk about those checkboxes had to get changed. Um, and just checkboxes alone probably counted for like 20 articles. It was really uh, oh. inc And then also we did things like in preparation for like click to play plugins. They did things like change instead of enable disable buttons for plugins, you now have a drop down that says always allow, never allow or something. It's the exact same functionality, different labels, but that was like 10 articles, you know? <laughs> like, so there was lots of tiny changes, but lots of articles. And actually Scooby Diver did nearly every update for Firefox 23 plus a bunch of other articles. Plus, I, I saw that he also worked on, I think, Android and Firefox OS articles. All, wow. all told, yeah. over three weeks, yeah. I think he edited over 100 articles. I'm still wow. reviewing. Wow. But, I mean, wow. it, uh, the other part was that just for Firefox 23 and all of those kinds of things, like 21 of the top 50 articles were changed for either wow, something okay. in Firefox 23 or something that we missed in 22 or something like that. So none of them are like big giant changes. It's not like the whole article changed, but it was like lots to <laughs> every article. Well, I really appreciate that because over time, if you do not do these small changes, it becomes a nightmare as Michael knows, as Michelle knows. Um, so we should give them some sort of award, shouldn't we? Firefox 23 KB Rock and Crew or something. Yeah. Well, <laughs> already has the name. Well, certainly, I um, so I, I nominated Scooby for Friends of the Tree and oh, right. and Contributor okay. of the Week. Roseanne and I talked about that last uh, right. last week in our one on one. So you yeah, that definitely. Surprise. Yeah. It was, was it was later in the meeting. 
anyway, go ahead. So that <laughs> definitely explains uh, the drop in uh, the localization coverage, which also makes sense because we uh, take specifically the top 50, which have been affected a lot apparently. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's clear where that is coming from. All right. All right. Um, any more questions about metrics or LTNM craziness? Okay. Uh, if not, I'll move on to community updates. So, first of all, I just want to say, as everybody knows, we had a launch last week in Poland. Um, and for this launch, we had a lot of work to do uh, within the Polish community. So, first of all, I want to thank everybody within the Polish community for doing an awesome job. Um, I have written there many thanks to Marek uh, GmbH who has helped us a lot and the four moderators they actually uh, open on the new forum there is a Polish forum in case you're interested and it's for Mozilla PL and they have opened a new uh, forum for mobile uh, just to be able to deal with all the incoming questions for Firefox OS. Right now, there are no questions related to Firefox OS, but a lot of questions related to Android, in case anybody is interested about what kind of issues Polish users uh, have with Android, you can find them there. They opened the forum on Friday, and I think there are already like seven or eight questions about Android. Um, so, yeah, many thanks, uh, guys, for, for keeping this up and for dealing with the, the Polish users on your forum. Great job. Um, and I'm so happy that this is ready now for the launch. I'm hoping that there won't be a lot of questions related to Firefox OS, nothing burning, but in case anything pops up, you know, just let us know um, if we can help. Actually, I have a question around the forum because I noticed this before is, is uh, some questions are marked as, for example, a Firefox OS question when it's in reality it's a desktop Firefox question. Is it possible to just sure. edit that question to fix that? Well, let me answer that actually. So yes, about 10% of the mobile questions are wrongly uh, categorized and about 5% of the Firefox, uh, of the total questions are uh, Firefox OS questions, which can't, can't be. Uh, so yeah, today you can't actually do that, but we have a bug and hopefully within this week we will get that feature that can, it will be drop down so you can say edit and then just just choose uh, another product. Okay. All right, good. So it will essentially it will, this will be possible in a few weeks from now. Yeah. Two weeks. Actually, from now. this week. This so, week. Yes. This sprint. Perfect. That's that makes me feel good. I mean, sometimes when I ask for something, <laughs> at least more than once, the answer is yes. This will be fixed this week or the next. So that's <laughs> that's pretty. That makes me feel like we're on top of things. That's good. It's called efficiency. Yeah, totally. You're rocking it, Kader. Oh, actually, I should say the development team is rocking yeah. it too. Absolutely. They're just <laughs> awesome. Cool. Okay, so just continuing on the same note, I also wanted to thank the Polish localizers for their amazing work. There were only a few of them. We all know them, Michal, Patrick, and Marek. But they did an awesome job throughout this this uh, month before the launch, always being on top of things, always being 100%. So kudos to you guys. Thanks a lot. I'm so happy that we're finally there. <laughs> um, and let's see what happens afterwards. Very exciting. Um, and one more thing related to community. We are starting to organize the first regional meetings. Uh, which will be led by buddies or local contributors. Uh, the first one on the, on the list is Asia, and Ernest Chang from Taiwan will or be the first one to organize a, a regional meeting there. Um, so in case you have any questions or you want to discuss about this or you have any ideas related to this, there is a thread that Rosanna opened on the contributors forum. Just feel free to drop your ideas there. Um, I'm also very excited about this. This is like also an experiment to see how can we can we actually do this without us running all the things and having um, you know the the regional contributors actually doing this. So we're open to any kind of feedback. So please please write there if you have any ideas. 
uh, and, and goal, that's about and, it. Sorry, I guess a question. Sorry. The goal goal of these regional meetups is to is that to coordinate all the work and activities that are going on across the whole sumo universe in that region, which is a contradiction, uh, or is it specifically <laughs> focused around something like localization or what's the no, so the idea is to, to, as you said before, is to try to coordinate all the, the activities related to sumo within that specific region. If we have regional meetings, because it's hard for us, you know, both of us in Europe to actually run everything. Um, and this is also a, a, a good opportunity for contributors um, to do their own thing. So they will be the ones who organize everything, they'll be the ones who will drive everything. Um, and this is very exciting because there are a lot of people who are in the body program and they're the, the best people to actually run these meetings because they're already bodies, right? They're all, already the ones who are teaching other people how to yeah. do sumo. So they can also do this, these meetings as well and we will help as much as we can. But because of time, time zones and everything, it's, it's hard to you know, do everything from here. So we'll see how it works. Um, Ernest was super happy about the, the idea. I mean, most of the, the people in, you know, different Mozilla communities already have their own meetings. Uh, this is just something, you know, around Sumo that we're doing. So I don't think it's new for, for a lot of contributors. But we'll see how it works anyway. And thanks, Sorry. Ernest, for kicking this off. That's, that's awesome. Yes, thank you, Ernest. It's uh, very exciting to, to have you on board. He is a really, really cool guy. Uh, whoever will be in Santa Clara, uh, please shake your hand, shake your hand uh, with Ernest. I'll introduce you to him. <laughs> I know him more. Also, Schwarnawa will be in, uh, and uh, in Santa Clara, so be sure and to shake his hand too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a lot of other people. I just, just wanted to be, he, he pinged me on Facebook. That's why I happen to know that he's going to Santa Clara. Yeah, I mean, I basically most... I regretfully answered saying that I'm going to Brussels, but it's going to kick us there too. Yeah, well, basically everybody, I mean, most of our Asian contributors will be in Santa Clara. So anybody from India, from China, from, from that part of the world will be in Santa Clara. Yeah. Um, so, exciting times. Indeed. Okay, uh, any questions for community? No? Cool, then let's move on to knowledge base. Michael, you have the floor. Okay, well, uh, the Firefox 23 updates are done. Well, they're ready for localization. If you click that link, you'll see the giant list. That's, the, that's what took the localization percent down from 81 to 75. There's and, and believe me, when you go look at the review queue, there's still like that many more articles that Scooby Diver alone edited. So in the last like week or so. So it's, it, he did a lot of work. Um, and there's some notes here from Andrew. Um, the first one about uh, is a reminder <clears throat> about creating new articles. Um, do a search. See if the topic you want to write about is already covered. Maybe you can just update an existing article with some info um, is one. And the other one, I'm not, I don't know if Andrew's on the call. I don't, I don't know if, um, Andrew, if you're listening, if you can say something about this one. Because this one, I don't know what uh, risk about changing a name. So if you're a new contributor, you can't change the name of an article. You have to be... Um, uh, at least a, I'm not sure if we changed the permission yet, uh, a reviewer or a senior reviewer to change uh, the name of an article. But um, the nice thing about Sumo is it does redirects automatically when you change the name of an article. So there shouldn't be a, a, a risk to changing the name of an article. We should be able to do that. I think the only uh, thing somebody's run into is we can't use a colon in the name of an article. That will, that will break. But, um, we don't need no stinking colons. Yeah, anymore. just use a use a dash instead. All right, no colons. No colons. <laughs> All right. Other than that, I'm not sure what other uh, risk he was uh, referring to, but there shouldn't be any any big risks. Sounds to me like there might have been an article that was edited and renamed. It might have been a mistake, but it, maybe if uh, Andrew, if you if you, you know. What, you were referring to maybe this could be a follow-up in the forum yeah if 
forum discussion. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Any questions for Michael and KB? No. Okay. Uh, then we'll move on to Elton and sorry I skipped it before. Sorry about that. Um, so, Kadir, you have the floor, Elton. Oh, yeah, and I just realized that I have written in the wrong either path, uh, copied it over just now. So, just wanted to mention uh, the Serbian community did a sumo marathon, and Oscar informed me about that. Uh, he's the one who organized that, and uh, he has also written um, uh, a blog post about it. And not only about how their uh, look, uh, event went, but also about how to do this. Um, and uh, very helpful tips if you are planning on doing a sumo marathon for your locale. That's a great blog post to check out. So thanks a lot, Oscar. Should we thanks, perhaps Oscar. cross post this over the sumo, um, the sumo blog, just to make sure that people who, who read blogs see this too? It's a great idea. We should definitely do that. It's a great blog post. Yeah, let's I do guess, that. Yeah. I'll put this uh, as an action. Good. For you, Madeline, I think you volunteered to do it. <laughs> of course. Awesome, thanks. Okay. Uh, I'll write it afterwards. So, um, any questions for uh, Kadir and Eltonen? If not, I'll move on to the support forum. New exciting times for the support forum. This Thursday, we're having a new sumo day. This Thursday, meaning July 18th. Um, so, in case you don't know, sumo days are those, those days in which we're trying to answer all the incoming questions on the support forum. Uh, last time we managed to reach 97% in 24 hours, which is awesome. So, we're this, this close to reaching 100%. So, let's do it. Fingers crossed. And let's not forget pay attention to because we're actually looking at it as well. So if you could increase the salt weight as, re as well, that would be awesome. But anyway, so more days this Thursday. Uh, please, anybody who has a bit of time, please help us answer all the questions there. We will be here on uh, Sumo on IRC uh, in case you have any questions. And, you know, you'll have that annoying Sumo bot bothering you. Uh, <laughs> that Toby helped me... Uh, you know, put up there, and now I don't know what how to modify it. But anyway, um, so yeah, small day is Thursday. Don't forget about it. I have one good news about that. Um, you know, we we always have like something like ninety eight percent or ninety seven percent reply rate, and the reason for that is because um, sometimes the question being asked uh, is not immediately activated, and we only show the uh, question when the person who asked the question activates their email address. That way oh. we make sure that uh, we, we don't show questions to people where the original poster is not going to come back. Uh, so that's a neat way to do it, but uh, we are counting that against our goal. Uh, so from this print on, what we're going to do is we're only going to count the stuff that contributors can actually see and respond to. So there is a very high chance to actually get to 100% this time. Oh oh, so you're saying that actually we're counting a question that someone posted but didn't validate through the email validation thing? That counts as an unanswered post in, in the current way of... Yeah, currently oh. on the KPI dashboard, that's how it is being counted. It's one of I those see. edge cases that we just found out about. So uh, now in this print, we have this uh, bug where we are going to get rid of that. So we have a chance to actually get to 100%. And hopefully we'll do that. Let's see. Michael, you want to say something? Yeah, about the IRC sumo bot. Does anyone know how to give him like a one minute delay or something? So he doesn't <laughs> ping you the second you connect to IRC? That's what seems to be the, the annoying thing. Like Yeah, I need to talk to Toby because what happened actually was that he, he built it and then he just told me how to start it. And I just have like this ether pad where I have this step by step, like my grandmother kind of thing, right. where I just like do these things. So I don't really know how to change it, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'll I'll try to to find a way to make it a bit less annoying. 
it is useful though. No, it is. It is. It reminds me all the time. It's just, it's like, it's like, uh, it's that, it has that feeling of like you walk in the door and someone's like, let me have you do this thing right now, right now. I need you. And you're like, oh, give me a second. I haven't even drank my coffee. <laughs> okay. I'll put another action item for me then to try to figure out the symbol. The symbol. <laughs> I mean, low on the priority list. I just, why we were talking about it. Okay, um, if you don't have any more questions about the support forum, we can move to the contributors of <laughs> the week. Well, then uh, you have to say something now. Um, remember what I was saying last week about um, available weapons? Well, yeah, so there it is. This thing is really hot. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I totally recommend... Uh, that from time to time we surprise each other with fun and happy things. <laughs> Maybe once a quarter? No, 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 no. Once per week. I can... <laughs> That's awesome. So we are all getting a horse mask. Uh, I will totally cool. support that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. No, that was, that looks so mask. real. I mean, I've never seen a unicorn, but it really looks like a unicorn. <laughs> And, and that green screen behind you, or whatever that is, that green wall, is just like the perfect. Oh yeah, <laughs> nature, it's the scenery. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's so creepy. This that's too real. It, it, doesn't, right it, it doesn't look cute enough. That, uh, it looks real. The sensor board doesn't get a hold of this. This is it's, it's a PG <laughs> recording. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, if it didn't have the gaping mouth and the wide eyes, I think it would be a little bit more cute. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like it's in pain. I like how Patrick is breaking down the the, the creepiness of that mask. But you're absolutely right. Yeah. Right, it is kind of frightening, isn't it? Yeah. I never yeah. thought of it. Yeah, it wake, waking up with that thing next to you in the bath. Yeah, that will. <laughs> That's a that's a, oh, that's a good idea. So, uh, oh, I have ideas now. Your price to the corn. Okay. It actually reminds me that it reminds me of uh, the the Christmas the Santa Claus mask that my mom always has every Christmas. She's having this mask, and it's like. And it's so deformed because it's probably from the 70s or something. So it's, the, the face is actually not round this way. It's like round the other way. Oh, my I, gosh. Concave or whatever. So it's really creepy. And there's always this you know, person wearing it kind of not aligned to the face either <laughs> and, and walking around. And, and it's, you know, every time Tra kids traumatic. start to cry. Now kids yeah, have nightmares. Yeah. yeah. So. No, that should be for so. next quarter. Bring that for next quarter for our holiday. Yeah. Season. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, that mask? You mean? Yes. This, uh, you yes. Wear it Why not? During, uh, Advent, Why not? Or whatever that Christian thing is, you know, before Christmas. Yeah. Uh, mm. Okay. No. So anyway. this was the greatest introduction to the next item on our list which is contributors of the week um i guess michael you want to talk about this one yeah well um so i already did but to say it again um uh Sco Once more. scooby one more like single-handedly updated the knowledge base over the last uh, couple of weeks oh, especially the last uh, week or week and a half um so thank you to scooby and um yeah that was i mean pretty awesome it took me it took me two plus days to review it all so forget about writing it, it took me it took me two days to review it i didn't, didn't totally review all of it thing. i haven't even reviewed all of it it's a totally wonderful thing because you get to that point where you understand a system in this case the knowledge base and you understand a product in this case firefox and you and you're able to just like grasp the totality of it and go through all the articles very rare even for staff right yep. it's amazing yep so that's awesome work from Scooby. Everybody, a round of applause. Great stuff, Scooby. Thank you. Yeah, good job. You are the contributor of the week. Yay. Well done. Yay. Rightfully. Cool. OK, I guess we're done. Um, so decisions and action items for me. Uh, first of all, to cross post uh, Oscar's blog post about the Elton and Marathon. And the second one, to try figuring out the 
crazy sumo bot who pings you the moment you go in. Um, otherwise, I guess that's it. Any questions, any comments, anything else related to this incredible meeting? <laughs> if anybody wants a mask, I can arrange it. Anyhow, let me know. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I'm going to scare my nephew and my niece. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, adults only, right? Scare adults. <laughs> cool. All right, then. Well, have a wonderful week. Uh, have a wonderful Firefox OS Polish launch week. Yeah, uh, okay. Don't forget to answer some questions on Sumo Day. Uh, don't forget to be awesome. And, you know, see you online. And thank you for this meeting. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for Thanks. running the meeting. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Madalena.